Hey guys, this is Rajat from EGMAT and um, in this video I'm going to talk a bit about where we are with uh, Scholarium 2.0, what I'm also going to demonstrate uh, a couple of the new features that um, that, that we're piloting in Scholarium 2.0 and I'm going to tell you briefly about the timeline um, uh, for, for the Scholarium 2.0 release. So with that, let's kind of go in and, and talk about what are we trying to achieve over here. Um, let me just go to the slideshow mode. So essentially, when you think about uh, what are we trying to do with this release, this is a huge release for Scholarium. It's a uh, um, it's a release that we're doing after about three years. Uh, we released um, we did, we had a major upgrade in Scholarium about three years back. And we're trying to achieve three things with this release. The first thing that we're trying to do is we're gonna we're trying to upgrade or we are upgrading the underlying infrastructure now. Um, but Students attempt about 2 million questions every month on Scholaranium. And, and while Scholaranium has been super stable, it is on, on a non-redundant server right now, uh, which is very unlike the rest of EGMAD infrastructure, where the rest of EGMAD infrastructure is, is on a completely redundant server, which means that um, you know we can do upgrades whenever we want. Um, it, it's fairly resilient against um, uh, distributed denial of service attacks, and, and essentially it allows us to deploy updates, add new features very, very quickly. With this release, um, Scholaranium is going to join that, um, that, that redundant infrastructure. It's going to allow us to, to add capacity, to, to Scholaranium um, on, on, on a very seamless basis, and it's a big piece for us. Um, the second thing that we we, we want to do is, um, you know, we want to take um, analytics to that next level. Scholarium, people love Scholarium because of the quality of questions and solutions that we provide. Uh, they also love Scholarium because of the, sp uh, the quality of support that we provide. But one major reason that people love Scholarium is, is, is the analytics that it provides. And in Scholarium 2.0, we're taking those analytics to that next level. You're going to see a sophistication that you've probably not seen before, which um, would allow you to, to to gather insights about what is it that you should do next, and 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 create those improvement plans to 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 that next level of precision over here. Now. To show those insights, you need a design language that allows that data to be expressed. You need new chart types. You need uh, 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 new alert systems to be built. And and with Scholarium 2.0, we are uh, launching this new design language. It's an experiment that we are doing, and we're very excited about it. And 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 based on on how you perceive it, we will actually continue to enhance. So this is this is the beginning of of a cycle of enhancement. That we, that we're doing with this release, and the third thing that we're doing is we're starting uh, an in, with the integration of our expert system, which you guys have loved so much on in in Quant 2.0 in Scholarium as well. What Expert does is it it, it takes the analytics that Scholarium provides and and gives you insights that um, that allow you to to make again good decisions and 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 and, and it, it actually takes the knowledge that an expert has and then helps make make that decision making simpler for you so so without much ado let's let me just show you um, uh, briefly one aspect of scholaranium and let's just go into the dashboard so here's a dashboard of one of our former students um, uh, and 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 what you see over here is this this three dimensional chart let me just move it to to all difficulty levels so this student has uh, has has essentially uh, solved about 650 questions um, on the verbal side of Scholaranium. Uh, fairly even distribution across um, SCCR and RC. You can really see how the distribution is, uh, and you can really see this is all real time from a server that's uh, at 20 percent of the capacity of the production server. So you can see how fast this is. Now, let's say this guy wants to 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 really figure out, okay, um, what 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 is the score that that he or she is likely to get in here. So one of the things that you, we recommend that you do is to look at accuracy of hard questions, especially when you've done so many questions and if you're aiming for that B40 or higher score. And and when you see these accuracies over here, you see, hey man, you know, really good accuracies in, in CR and RC, SC, not so much. So one of the things that you want to really then see is to say, hey, have I improved in the last 20 questions or so? And and so you can filter out, again, this is still hard questions. And then you can see in the last 20 questions in sentence correction, the student has, has um, improved in, improved tremendously. In RC, he, has, he or she has come down slightly over here. And, and, and the ability to do this kind of analytics um, or this kind of decision making on the fly is, is something that, uh, that, that, uh, that, that these charts now allow you to do. And this is a three-dimensional chart. On the quant side, things become even more interesting. So let's do the same thing in quant. Let's go to the quant dashboard. And, and again, 
over here let's look at all and and all in this case and, and what do you see is again uh, fairly good number of questions attempted we can see the distribution of questions um, across across various subsections in quant I always look at medium and hard um, in, in this case and you can see you know reasonable number of questions and medium and hard attempted for this particular student so then I say okay is there a weakness in medium I can carefully toggle medium and essentially there is no weakness across I mean 90% accuracy um, in, in, in geometry and, and advanced topics is phenomenal algebra number properties word problems again fairly good accuracy uh, uh, scores over there and again we the student has a reasonable number of attempts but 40 45 attempts across this now let's go towards hard and, and as you move to Towards hard, you clearly see a weakness in in advanced topics, and um, and 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 so 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 uh, and when I say weakness is relative weakness over other topics. I mean, sixty five percent accuracy in hard questions otherwise is phenomenal. This this person's at a Q forty nine Q fifty um, in in all the other topics, but advanced topics. And then you really say, okay, has he he or she improved in the last twenty questions? So we move to the last twenty. Not so much. You can see the accuracies across. All the other topics, uh, they remain very similar. Let's talk about the last 10. Yes, um, uh, slight improvement in the last 10 in advanced topics, but we see a small dip in number properties over here. So again, clearly um, advanced topics is an area of concern. If this student were to really say, okay, what's stopping me from getting to that Q50? That's hard questions in advanced topics. That's getting, that's stopping him or her from 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 getting to a Q50. So this, this is an example of a three-dimensional chart where um, you can toggle between easy, medium, hard, and, and you can toggle between, um, you know, um, the last 20, last 30, and last 10 questions, all in a single view over here. And, and, and you'll see many, many such charts as you toggle through skill data, as you, as you go through your attempt screens and so on and so forth. And I'm gonna talk a bit about these charts um, in, in my upcoming video. So hopefully this gives you a preview of uh, uh, what is um, up and coming in Scholaranium. And um, we will start um, uh, transitioning students uh, we'll start with a batch of about 10 students um, uh, on, on, in, uh, on Wednesday and, and then, you know, over the course of next two weeks, we, we aim to transition most of you to Scholaranium 2.0. With that, as I always say, happy learning.